Having even a basic understanding of trauma medicine, of what to do in a traumatic medical situation in the field is really essential if you're thinking about going anywhere where you're going to encounter some kind of warfare or violence. There are countless examples of journalists and filmmakers who, who've, whose injuries have got way out of control or people who've actually died simply as a result of them or the people around them not having the most basic level of training. So it can't be, you know, it can't be scrimped on. It's absolutely essential that you, you feel at least a little bit confident that you would know what to do if, you're, if you encounter a, a, you know, a trauma medical situation. And that might not necessarily be sort of tourniqueting a ripped off leg. The most likely thing that's gonna happen is that you're gonna be involved in a car accident or you might get seriously dehydrated. Even just knowing what dehydration is, is important because you might not know what it feels like and you might not recognize it in another person. Um, people could die of dehydration, you know, um, and just having these, these, these basic skills about what to do in a place where you might get severely injured or you might be in a place where there are simply no hospitals or doctors to treat you for the most basic things that are so simple. I filmed in so many sort of war zone hospitals and operating theatres and the one thing that I could take away from that is that I do not want to end up being treated in one of those hospitals with those kind of shortages, with doctors under that much pressure, whether that's through getting shot or getting in a car accident or anything in between, anything that, that I can do to keep myself out of those places, I will do.